What fictional character should have been hit with a huge lawsuit at the end of the story? Pretty much every adult in a series of unfortunate events. I'm going for the low-hanging malpractice suit that is house. John Hammond from Jurassic Park. His legal team would spare no expense. The Power Rangers, they're a paramilitary group and are, almost, never officially sanctioned to operate by their relevant municipalities. They cause massive amounts of destruction from their fights asterisk and d asterisk by not warning anyone about the the enemies they battle. The Hulk. Sterling Archer in about every episode of Archer. Jim Carr is character at the end of Liar Liar. Would be on every no-fly list imaginable, and in prison for such a huge number of offenses for breaking into an airport, and stealing a set of air stairs, putting an entire flight at risk, etc, etc. The Umbrella Corporation. The gang from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia should be bankrupt from lawsuits and or in jail by now from all the stuff they've done. Dewey from School of Rock. The entire psych crew along with the Santa Barbara PD. Barry Benson. The fucker who ran the Truman Show. Chris from Total Drama. Edit, a list of crimes he committed. Multiple attempted murders. Manslaughter. Physical and psychological abuse. Endangerment. Torture. Grievous bodily harm. Pollution. Animal cruelty. Fraud. Terrorism. Snuff filming. Property damages. Enslavement. Poaching. Sabotage. Arson. Attempted destruction. Corruption. It's still running, but I can only imagine all the labor laws Mr. Krabs has broken. Willy Wonka, I mean, isn't it obvious? Edit, a lot of people are saying they signed a contract, so here is the article I found at the top of Google that agrees with me. Article. Edit 2, here is the legal legal a lot of people are talking about in replies. Video. The nerds from Revenge of the Nerds. Yes the people they were getting revenge at were absolute jerks, but the nerds committed sex crimes in retaliation. Ferris Bula. Michael Scott. Every character in Grey's Anatomy, lols. Vernon Dursley from Harry Potter, child abuse, both verbally and possibly physically. Doc Brown from Back to the Future. Yeah, sure, when he agreed to build a nuclear bomb for those terrorists he was just joking. Edit, and for all of you saying he wasn't actually going to build them a bomb, I doubt that excuse would get him very far with the relevant authorities. Jack Black in School of Rock. Basically impersonating a teacher and kidnapped some kids lol. Sounds like serious jail time. Jack and the Beanstalk. Jack repeatedly tricked his way into a house to steal stuff. When asked about it lied and committed murder and damage to the environment. And I bet giant beanstalk are endangered plants. Barney from How I Met Your Mother would 100% have more sexual assault allegations than Harvey Weinstein and Bill Cosby combined. Any rom-com protagonist should be faced with a few stalking charges and maybe some sexual harassment ones as well. Because of its want and destruction, that hungry hungry caterpillar. Jason Mendoza from The Good Place. One of the best tropes about asterisk asterisk trailer park boys asterisk asterisk. They open the season by getting out of jail, they end the season by going back to jail. They do something lawsuit worthy every episode. Umbridge. Or beaten by an irate parent for abusing their kid. Lara Croft easily. Destruction of heritage sites. Destruction of property. Illegal possession of firearms. Manslaughter illegal detention. Causing a calamity. I have two. One. Peter Griffin has committed several federal offenses and has brutally murdered tons of people. 2. You may get mad at me, but, Michael Scott. He has done a lot of things that are considered illegal, hitting Meredith with his car, held a pizza boy hostage, and several counts of what might be considered harassment. 
If Peter was convicted in a court of law he would get either death row or a life sentence. Mr. Potter from It's a Wonderful Life. Indiana Jones. He did quite a few illegal things. Like grave robbing, stealing artifacts and helping a Chinese mafia. Wanda in WandaVision. Miss Trunchbull from Matilda. Also Matilda's parents. Basically all the adults besides Miss Honey. If you like this kind of thing, there's a law-focused YouTube channel called Legal Eagle where the host will sometimes watch a movie and try to determine how many laws were broken and what the punishment would be. I like this one, where he speculates that Batman racked up a 60 million year jail sentence in the Dark Knight. Left square bracket. Chris Farley's character in Black Sheep. The dude takes a police car, evades arrest, then holds up the cheating governor's election celebration by taking a hostage and having a co-conspirator with a rocket launcher threaten the audience. Then they all just laugh it off, and he goes back to work with kids. Tony Stark would have had to go on a very long hiatus from being Iron Man in 2015 due to being swamped with thousands of lawsuits and various criminal charges after his negligence resulted in the birth of an AI that orchestrated the destruction of a Wakandan South African city and the asterisk 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 ANNIHILATIO and asterisk 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 of an entire country and the entire earth had it succeeded. Me6 from the Bond franchise would have to have a financial reconciliation on whether or not saving the world was worth the billions of dollars of destruction across the globe totally depleting the crown's treasury 